finals where they'll meet either the host nation Russia or Croatia. Those two sides play uh, later this evening, of course. And uh, who would have thought that at the start of this tournament? I don't think any of us thought that England would get that close to a final and possibly a final and possibly <laughs> even to lift that thing there. <laughs> Well, we, we just wanted them to embrace it, to try and enjoy it, to try uh, and make a name for themselves. And I, I th thought coming into the tournament that it, we could get to perhaps a semi-final, a quarter-final, sorry. People management. It's nothing else like in any other environment. Is you got to deal with people the right, correct, honest way. And he seems to be honest and, and has a smile in his face. Mm -hmm. And this is really important because he keeps things a bit relaxed. You know, th there are so high expectations, always high expectations from, from the fans at home in England because it's a football nation. Uh, but he kept it light. He kept it, you know, positive, smiling, joking. And that's how they're playing. They play exactly how he kind of uh, um, seems to be himself. Let's get a few words uh, from Gareth Southgate's captain, Harry Kane. Here he is with Gabby. Harry's, congratulations. You're in the semi-final of the World Cup. Has it sunk in yet? Uh, probably not, you know. Uh, so much preparation for this game. Quick recovery, obviously, from the, the second round. So uh, I thought it was fantastic today. It's a difficult game. Sweden made it tough. Long balls, different to what we've faced so far. And uh, yeah, we have brilliant set pieces crosses in the box uh, yeah we're buzzing we're buzzing the set piece is lethal once again and while it wasn't your day to be on the score sheet a selfless performance but Harry Maguire first goal for England uh, that makes you only the fourth player to score their first goal for England in a knockout game in the World Cup what a way to start no it can't come better than that fourth final of the World Cup um, send us through that's the main thing the win that's what we set out to do and we've done that today Tell me a little bit about the performance because it was England's best of this championship when you were out there, not just winning but dominating Sweden. Yeah, we felt like we could dominate the ball today. We controlled the play. Um, a bit sloppy towards the end of the second half. It was a bit too open for our liking 2-0 up. Um, but no, we knew what hurt, we knew what we'd, what we'd worked on and what would hurt them today. And we knew set plays was a big thing. And obviously the little box cross as well, what uh, Jesse put in for Delhi, we worked on that in training. So credit to the staff and the players to executing it. This squad of players are history makers. Now you've scored 11 goals. That equals only 1966. And how many goals England have scored in a World Cup? You know what they're going to be saying at home? Yeah, we know. But uh, we know there's still uh, some, a big game ahead, obviously the semi-final. Uh, but we're feeling good. You know, we're feeling confident. Today was great. Uh, we looked composed. We looked... Look like we control the game. Um, so yeah, we just have to go again. Uh, we're enjoying it. I know the fans here are enjoying it. Fans back home, I'm sure we'll see some videos tonight of them enjoying it. So we just got to keep doing what we're doing and uh, yeah, make the country proud. I'm sure the scenes at home will be absolute mayhem. The crowd, as you say here, Harry, they're loving it as well. You've all got friends and family enjoying this moment with you. But a week tomorrow, it's the World Cup final. Football's coming home, right? Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Thank you very much, guys. Go enjoy the moment. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. See you later. Yeah, well answered. Uh, yes, it is, Harry. Extraordinary <laughs> things. <laughs> you can't expect players to say it. It's, they might think it, but they're not going to say it, are they? No, no, you never say it. He's keeping his, his emotions under wraps, and that's, that's rightly so. But this, this point, they seem like a well-balanced, well-oiled machine at the moment, and, it, and that's come with momentum. I think everyone was saying, we, quarterfinals would have been happy with, it, with this England team, but once you get into a tournament, They've got that confidence now, and things are happening for them, and they're just performing. And the draws opened up from. We yeah, can't get away the from The critics that. will say, or not the yeah. critics, perhaps non-English people will say, yeah, yeah but you've got to look at the draw. You haven't played anyone yeah, yet. You've got to beat them. You've still got to beat care. people. Got, put there. Yeah, exactly. People get put in front of you. Teams get put in front of you. You say, oh, on paper, it's easy. It's never an easy game, and it's <laughs> not a World Cup. You've got to produce them today. The confidence and the ease of which they dispatched of this Swedish team has not been seen for many a year. I couldn't tell you who England played in '66 other than the final. Good so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just get there. As, as best you can, whoever you have Argentina. to play, beat them. So what? I don't, don't care. Early on. <laughs> <laughs> Portugal <laughs> in the semi-final. Well done, Gary. See Bobby Charles' goal. Come on now. <laughs> well, I can't. You I'm just trying, now, I'm just trying to see. You it, born. it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't, of course people it doesn't. will say that you had the easy side one of the draw. So what, what? One of England's heroes, and it's important because going into this tournament, there's a lot of apprehension about the goalkeeping situation. Very little experience. Jordan Pickford's come in, made that wonderful save in the penalty shootout, and today made three great saves. The first one was just after... Hey, where are we going to start? This is Leeds. Yes, Leeds. It's all right, it's all right. There's no beer flying about. Where's the beer? Got a beer. Looks like an alcohol-free zone. This is Croydon. South London. Way. That's what you do in South London. South London, Rio. <laughs> That's how you go, it goes off. competitive. <laughs> Nottingham. 
Weather's good. Well, Come on, Newcastle. Don't yes, let me the down. Are going. Like don't let me down, I'm Newcastle. Croydon are leading still. But Newcastle. <laughs> here we oh. go. Hey! <laughs> I think it's a, it might be a draw between <laughs> Croydon and Newcastle. Oh, where's this? Yeovilson, right, there you go. Oh, yeah. 40,000 people were watching there. Wow. Yeah, wonderful scenes around the country. They're enjoying it. It's funny when you're here, isn't it? You just kind of miss out a little bit of what's going on at home, but um, it seems magical. Um, let's hear from the goal scorer, Deli Ali. He's with Gabby. Congratulations, Deli. You are in the semi finals of the World Cup. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's a great achievement for the team. and. You know, we owed it to the to the fans at home. Back at home, we see how they've all been supporting us and uh, believing in us. And like I say, it was a it was a good performance again from the team. And your World Cup has been a little bit stop start, hasn't it, because of the injury? The goal today. Does it really feel you've arrived at this World Cup now? <laughs> um, yeah, like I say, it's always nice to score, especially in occasions like this. Um, like I said before in the other interview, I don't feel this was uh, my best performance personally on the pitch, but um, you know. To get the goal in an occasion like this is unbelievable, but the team to, and the country to be going to the semi-final is uh, it's an amazing feeling. It was certainly England's overall best performance in this World Cup. It felt like a performance that had been coming, and obviously a nervy night against Colombia. But out there today, they showed what they can do. Yeah, like I said, it was a it was a real graft out there. It was important that we. Uh, had belief in the game plan, kept playing the way we we wanted to play and how we do. We know we can play as a team, um, dominating possession, but being patient as well because uh, they proved in all the other games they're a difficult team to play against. They, you know, they don't concede a lot of chances, and it was important that we stuck to what we were doing and kept moving the ball as quick as we could, and you know, waited for the opportunities patiently. Game management important, but also a goalkeeper who's on his game. And Jordan Pickford was. <laughs> yeah, he was. Like I said, uh, he proved in the last game how big he is for this team, and. Um, Proved it again today, so you know we'll all be celebrating together. Congratulations! Thank you. Cheers. Time left for them to come and get an equaliser. So they were, they were excellent saves. He couldn't have been more impressive, could he? No, I don't think. And if anyone asking why he was picked over the other guys, is I think more than anything is his distribution, the way he gets his team playing. Gareth Southgate set his stall out to have possession of the ball, yeah. and you need a keeper from behind. You can actually take the sting out of a game. And if you're pressed high up the pitch, he can beat that press with a, with one single ball, like he'd done many a times today. Yeah. I hope he's listening to what you said because he's with Gabby. <laughs> Jordan Pickford, semi-final of a World Cup for England coming up, and largely thanks to you, they were some magnificent saves. Yeah, um, great result. We knew it was going to be difficult against Sweden. We know what they they bring to the party, and uh, we manage it very well. And uh, like I say, we worked hard on it. Then they're just showing our abilities coming out as well, and our mental side of the game. You didn't have much to do in the first half, but they really came out in the second with intent, and you had to be on your A game. Yeah, he's got to be ready from the start, So, in which I was, and you've got to be alert, and that gets you in the game straight away, so after I've made that first save, I think it was against Berg, with his header, about 47 minutes, I, I felt then that was me set for the game. Tell us a little bit about the atmosphere and being out there, and that performance as a whole from the squad. Yeah, it was, it was quality, uh, obviously England fans are different class, and uh, we um, we really enjoy playing, and when, when the fans are like that, it makes it even better, and it makes us so much relaxed. Like you, like so many of the squad, are too young to remember the last time England were in a semi-final of a World Cup. It goes a bit crazy. Yeah, I think Gaffer just mentioned it was 1991. I wasn't born for that, so I'll take that. Yeah, you're making the rest of us feel a bit old, but you're creating your own history out there. It seems after that performance that nothing will stand in your way now. Yeah, we've always we've always said take one game as a game by game, and like I say, we can go and create our own history. But it's about now rest and recover, and then. Get, looking forward to the next game. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to we'll work hard enough, and our ability should show. Congratulations! That was a 